Hey guys, good to see you again and welcome to my Corvette channel. Last week on our Tech Tuesday segment, we were talking about the continuing saga and concern of the rear park assist. As you can see on this car, it does not have it. And Chuck and I showed you where the rear park assist module is. This car does not have it, so what is in the back of the C8 Corvette? So we were talking about how they may or may not have a module in there, Chuck. So what's in here? This car does not have the rear park assist. Well, but it's got a module in there. Okay, so more than likely when the stuff is retrofitted, they'll probably just send you a whole new module and send this one back to GM is what we're assuming. Assuming, yes. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yep, all right. Actually, Nate, before we get started, hang on, we're gonna continue from last week as well with you mm -hmm. and show you my $12 accessory. Oh, I'm ready to see it. <laughs> I know, he's like, what is this thing? He's really not seen it up until now. And actually, given the accessory saga right now, just a little shout out to Ron in Virginia. We are waiting for, as you can see, your high wing. Hold that on Nate and I. Behind the scenes. <laughs> All right, so my $12 accessory matches my blue carbon fiber key fob. Thank you, Paragon Performance. I don't have it on the car yet. We'll show you the installation. It's uh, quite a uh, laboring task. I'll show you guys first. <laughs> there you go, Nate. $12. Yeah, carbon, blue carbon fiber start stop button, and it just easily installs. You can see it's double-sided tape. That it's it a sticker. Yeah, no, but this, this is all carbon fiber, dude. See, look, come on. Yeah. If you put a Corvette emblem on a toaster, I'd buy it. <laughs> That's super cool. <laughs> Everybody waiting all week, so what's the $12 accessory Nate says ain't worth a hill of beans? Uh, there you go, guy. Uh, that that that's, uh, looks a little darker here than this. Well, what, what seems to be the problem? All right, that's enough out of you. <laughs> okay, now welcome to Tech Tuesday. Just a quick one for you today, and then we're gonna finish up with your beautiful rides. As always, it's good to see you guys. That was Nate firing up a C8. <laughs> I know what a C8 sounds like when Are it fires sure? up. Yeah, man. I'm the Corvette Bloodhound, man. I said, what's that? What's that? What's that? I yeah, do. I can hear him from a mile away. I, I can hear him from two miles away. <laughs> I can hear him from three. Do you not like? Do you not like my little button? Sure, dude. It's made out of carbon fiber. Of course, it's beautiful. It is. I think it's great. Yes. Wonderful. That's twelve dollars I ever spent. Okay. All right. Tech Tuesday, a quick one for you guys today. And actually, before we start, I have a tech tip for you cool. from one of our viewers. Uh, this comes from uh, MX Bob AAA. It says, hey, Chuck and Rick, uh, here's a tech tip from my wife. This goes back to me. <laughs> you're, you're not supposed to read that. This goes back to what we did last week when I was putting on the blue attack air filter and I didn't put it in the car because it was blue. <laughs> that was a good call, though. <laughs> I'm a little wacky like that. And, and it's hard to feel that five to 10 horsepower, but just knowing that the car is breathing better, it will perform better. And, and I'm looking forward to getting some track days under my belt. So anyways, tech tip for you, when you're putting it in, you were worried about dropping the screws down into the abyss of the C8 Corvette. Correct. He says, my wife suggests that you put a towel or a rag under the air box over the transmission to catch any dropping screws. Good idea. How about that? Yeah, all Very right, good. A little tip for you. All right, Absolutely. you got a couple quick ones for us. What you got? Yes, I do. This one comes from... Uh, WR Cable. Yeah, WR Cable. If your car is pre-drilled for the high wing spoiler, does the back end still have to come off the car to get the spoiler on? Or can Chuck sneak through the trunk? No, the bumper has to come off the car because the holes are there, the it's double-sided tape and bolted from the underside. Not only does the rear bumper have to come off, 
both rear tail lights and the center tail light has to come out, which gives you access to tighten the spoiler on. Right, so see. yeah, no, there, there's no cheating it. All right. They thought you could though. No. That's impressive. Sure. Chuck, yeah, Chuck must can. know a shortcut. <laughs> Get me in there. No, it's it's got to come off, guys. It's, it's got to come, come off. off. All right, here's one from Art in Virginia. It says, Rick and Chuck, uh, love the YouTube presentations. Each one is a solid gem. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. He goes, here's my Tech Tuesday question and hopefully an answer. A little background first. He says, I've had eight Corvettes, a 72, a 65 convertible, a 63 split window. Oh, yeah, yeah dude. That one just, that's on my bucket list. Yeah, yeah. Love to have a split. I actually had a chance Let's tell this real quick. I had a chance to buy a split window. This is going back probably 10 years ago. And uh, it wasn't an all original car, but by looking at it, dude, it was perfect. It was a drivable car here in Columbus, white car, red interior. Guy was gonna trade it in for a C6. And I was getting information from the used car manager and all that, and kind of what he wanted for it. I'm thinking, you know, I had to buy that damn thing. Yeah. And he only wanted, so you guys can just say, Rick, you're an idiot. Um, he only wanted 30 grand for it. Oh, I got Rick, you're an idiot. You are an idiot! Great IQ. Wow. <laughs> um, I wouldn't even have to prompt you for that. You would have said, Rick, you're an idiot. Yeah, exactly. And so I called him back <laughs> the next day. He said, hey, I got a buy figure. And he goes, oh, never mind. I sold it. <laughs> I got 50 grand for it. <laughs> of course he did. Yeah, of course he did. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. So all these beautiful cars that Arts had. Uh, 63 split, uh, 73 coupe, 65 coupe, 04 commemorative edition coupe an 08 coupe a 13 grand sport and a 19 grand sport he says i've noticed that the interior space of a corvette at least for me he says i'm 6'4 240 pounds that has become tighter and more limited since the c5 generation when the c7 first came out i tried one on and it was very confining inside compared to the 2013 and you're correct by 2019 deciding to give it one more try i found just the right seat location to be comfortable for me for driving. Fast forward to Carlisle 2021, after spending some time in each of the new C8s that Chevrolet brought, and I love it when they do that. He goes, I found that the C8 is even a little tighter than my 19 Grand Sport. So here's the question for Chuck. Is there any way to lower the driver's seat at least one inch from its normal position? Lower than what the factory gives you? Right. No, unfortunately not. You know, I, here's here's the thing. I'm going to jump out of here for just a second, Chuck. Here's the thing, guys. Sometimes I think you guys aren't adjusting the seat correctly because there's so many ways that you can really kind of adjust that to, to fit a taller guy. If you're more torso, if you're more legs. Let me show you real quick what I mean. All right, so if you've got a 2 or a 3 LT package, your seat controls will look like this. This is for your side bolsters and your lumbar control. This is the button I want to talk about, and this is the power recline button. Now, this seat is not all the way down. It's not all the way back. But right here on this middle button, you can actually push it in the front of the button. You push it into the back of the button, and you're notice, well, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the lower part of the seat is going down by pushing this right here. You can even just grab it and push it all the way down. And then you can take this button and move it a little bit further back and it maximizes the area in which you're sitting and you can still seat out the car. So really take this button right here and if you're trying to get more space, push this back button. That'll lower the butt part of the seat, make it a little bit easier for you, and then take this front part and see if there's any more that you can lower it. And I think this is, this is gonna help you guys a lot. One, one tech tip there. Okay. There's a pressure sensor behind the back of this seat. Yeah. So if you took, put it all the way down and all the way back, the memory seat function may not work. You may have to move it forward just this much to relieve this pressure sensor behind the seat back. And that was actually a little bit easier to do in C7s. If you remember now in C8, when we go all the way back, it, like it, it goes back and then it kind of kicks you back up front. So you're really not doing that. But what you're saying, if you do just the seat back, you can actually get pressure on that, make it a little bit harder for the memory stuff to, have, yeah. to activate. Okay, I got you. All right. Cool. All right, you got one more there? I, I got one more. I've got, uh, oh, that's the one I just read. Let's see. No, that's the one I just read. I'll be, I'll be with you. <laughs> there's, only, there's only freaking two of them. Oh, well, that's They're the from problem. the same guy. They're from the same guy. That's what was confusing me. <laughs> okay. We weren't prepared today. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> he says, I have a brand new C hardtop convertible. 
let's say my little niece was playing with my car keys and accidentally hit the right buttons and I had my car cover on, would my top still try to go up or down? Or is there some kind of sensor or resistance switch that would stop it? Going up, absolutely not. Coming down, it does have pressure sensitive switches, but they're they're really tough. I mean, uh, it's I'm, severe it's, pressure. It, it's severe pressure. It will keep from killing you, but it will still hurt on the down position. And I guess what Chuck's saying, if you had like, say the top is uh, is is down rather, and then it's going to go back up, so that tondo has to open. If there's a, not us as adults, but if there's a little kid that has her arm in there, and that tondo comes back down. Chuck's saying, yeah, there's a pressure sensor, but I got news for you. That kid's probably going to get their arm broken. Yes, absolutely. So in the scenario, what he said, and that's actually a good one, too. I guess we talked about this before uh, for the folks that have lifts and so forth. And if you've got the C8 underneath the car in a lift and you're going to go operate the convertible top, I mean, that, top, that thing opens way up. Yeah. So if you've got a convertible top on there, what she would have to do is hit the unlock button two times and press and hold this button. She'd have to physically hold that button down to get that to operate. And any movement will interrupt that and stop that from operating. And uh, we kind of messed around just a little bit, put some pressure on it just before today's show. And yeah, so if a convertible top's on there, it's it's not, it'll probably rip the top. Uh, so that's definitely an issue, but uh, there's a sequence in which she would actually have to do to even get that to work. So um, hide your keys and you yeah. don't have a problem. <laughs> Like I said, there's no protection going up because GM figures going up, nobody's going to get hurt. There is some protection coming down, but yeah, you're still going to get injured. So if you guys have a question, uh, how to use something on the car, how to fix something, it's called Tech Tuesday. Whenever we get a chance, Chuck and I love talking and answering your questions. Thank you so much for watching. Email us. The email address is up on the screen. And as we do on every Tuesday upload, we finish up with some great looking cars because this is a Corvette channel and these now are your beautiful rides. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next week. And I didn't